I say I do. We solemnly swear. We solemnly swear. It's a job Governor Kay Ivey says she didn't spend much time thinking about, but was left with no other choice on April 10th, 2017. One of the duties of Lieutenant Governor is to be prepared should the case arise. She took over after Robert Bentley stepped down as governor and pled guilty to violating two campaign finance laws. Today is both a dark day in Alabama, but yet also it's one of opportunity. One of the highlights Ivy points to in her administration was the announcement of a $1.6 billion auto plant coming to Alabama, Toyota Mazda. That's a wonderful sign to other global companies that are doing business in Alabama is pretty special and it also speaks to the fact that our workforce is second to none. Towards the end of the 2018 legislative session, there was a controversial bill dealing with exemptions for people working as professional economic developers from certain lobbyist requirements. We asked Governor Ivey, did she think now was a good time to be softening the state's ethics laws by signing House Bill 317? So it was important to those who are in the economic development world to have clarity about what is a lobbyist and what is not. During Alabama's special U.S. Senate election, Governor Ivey never pulled her support for Judge Roy Moore, even with a number of sexual misconduct allegations against him. Bottom line is we had an election, that's what you do when there's a vacancy, <laughs> and we had an election and the people spoke. The people weighed all the options of the information they had available to them, and they spoke.